Now comes the fun part. We get to play with our food. Yay. Good morning, modern steaders. It's raining out like cats and dogs. The only ones who are enjoying this weather. Oh, they might go in and see if we can get them. Ducks, they're having so much fun in the rain. While we're right here, let's check on the chicks. They're doing awesome. They're growing so fast. Look at them, they're having a blast. Life is good if you're a chick here at Lumna Acres. They got it made. Look at that poor rooster. He can go in and out, but he wants to stay out. He looks sad, all wet like that. It started raining yesterday. It rained all night long. It was 42 degrees this morning when I woke up. You know what that means. The snow is gonna be melting. And look, you can see our garden beds. So exciting. Look at that. That was all buried a couple of days ago. We have a muddy, muddy mess on our road. That means spring is coming. So, oh, so excited here. We're gonna be harvesting our pigs in a few more weeks. That's gonna be a good time. We're gonna be learning a ton. I'm looking forward to that. But today's raining. It's raining out like crazy right now and Olivia has the day off from school. So we need to do something today. We were watching a Weed em and Reap video the other day. She was making blueberry scones, huh? They look delicious. So we're gonna make some blueberry scones this morning for breakfast, huh? Yeah. Does it sound good? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Today is your Easter. So if you're watching the video the first day it's out, Happy Easter, everybody. You gonna wish them Happy Easter? Happy Easter. All right, let's get to bacon. First things first, we need to preheat the oven to 375. Do you want to grab the bag of flour and I'll grab the baking powder? Okay. Baking powder. I need some sugar. I know, I keep it in pickled dilly corn. It's kind of to trick everybody. I'll grab the two eggs. You can get the two eggs. Oh look, perfect. I'll just keep them in here then. Sounds good. So now I'm gonna get the butter. Salted or desalted? The silver package, no salt. I need some yogurt. Our fresh mayonnaise. Ooh, yay. Gonna grab some cinnamon. This is the topping. Oh, what's that? So this stuff, so from the blueberry, what's that? So the stuff up here is for making the scones, and then we have the melted butter and a little bit of sugars for the topping of the scones. And the cinnamon. The cinnamon's gonna go inside the oh. other mix. Grabbing our blueberries. Did you get lemon juice? Man, I almost forgot the lemon juice. We just used that yesterday in the mayo. You ready to get all the dry ingredients? Yeah, but first we need to put the mixer on the mixer. No, we gotta do that after we get the bowl on. Okay. Otherwise oh, we yeah. can't get the bowl in. Oh yeah. Okay. So first we need two cups flour. Yep. A cup or one cup? Two cups flour. Okay, I know, but I was asking if this was one cup. That's a one cup. Quarter cup of sugar. Okay. Sugar. Hold it about ready. Mm 
one tablespoon baking powder. Now comes the fun part. We get to play with our food. Yay. Whoa, we get to play with our food. So we're gonna take our six tablespoons of butter and cut it up into cubes. We want our butter to be cold. All right, now we're gonna put it into our flour mixture. Now you get to rub the butter into the flour. You don't want to do that, do you? I do. Like playing with your food? Yeah. And you're not going to get yelled at for it? No. Nope. nope. Looks like you're having too much fun. I think I should do that. No. Now? Are you sure? Yeah. So while Olivia's having all the fun playing with her food, I'm gonna get two tablespoons of butter melting on the stove. While Olivia's doing that, I'm gonna get the wet ingredients ready. So we're gonna take our two eggs. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You wanna finish doing that. this? Yeah. You can. She don't want me having any of the fun. What the heck? All right, keep mixing. I'm gonna add in a splash of vanilla extract. One teaspoon lemon juice. This might get messy, so wait a second. I'm gonna add okay. a third of a cup of yogurt. We're doing vanilla flavored yogurt. You could use plain yogurt. Go for it. Awesome, that butter's melted now. Yep. Now we can put the paddle on. The paddle. I'm gonna shut it off, you can drop it. My love for cooking and baking, I believe started with baking. I love baking because you get to cook something up pretty quickly and it's a good sweet little treat you get at the end. All right, so now we need to combine the blueberries. Now, this might turn into like a blueberry blue mess. All the recipes I found call for fresh blueberries, but we like the little tiny wild blueberries from Maine. They're just a lot sweeter. So those are, we can only find frozen. So it might turn into a purple scone. Yeah. As long as it tastes good. Now you get to play with that again and just work the blueberries in a little bit. Mm. You don't want to do that, do you? I do, but it's cold. Oh, I love the smell of it. Does it smell good? Yes, I can still smell the butter and that oh, mixture that man. we put in. Making me hungry. It makes me hungry too because this is going to be my breakfast. It's going to be your breakfast. We better hurry up and make it then. Yeah. We put down parchment paper so we don't have to worry about <clears throat> staining or making a big old mess on our countertop. Then you want to pat it out so it's about an inch thick. All right. All right. Now we need to cut it. You want to cut it? You want me to cut it? Um, I'll just cut it like this, like this. I'm gonna cut it like pizza. Okay, and a pie. 
like a pizza pie. Yeah. This is in the right. Wanna well, spray our cookie sheet down good. And I'm gonna flip. Need our melted butter. Oh, that looks delicious. All right, now you need to brush the scones with the melted butter. We don't have to use all of it. But. Now you can sprinkle two tablespoons of sugar on. I think one tablespoon's enough. <laughs> we'll do a little bit more, but now we get to bake them. Now we gotta wait 15 more minutes before we can eat them. Aww. Oh, you hungry? Yeah. A few more minutes. Okay. What do you think you're doing? You're waiting for a scone? <laughs> you're crazy. Waiting patiently. Get our cooling rack out. Let's check them with a toothpick and see if they're ready. Nice. What do you think, Libby? Do they look good? Yeah. Hopefully they taste good too. They smell delicious. You should come over here. You ready to have one? Yeah. Which one do you want? Um, it looks like it has a purple crust. This one? Uh, no, it's that one, I think. This one? They look and smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Ready for yours? Mm -hmm. Not mine. Those are good. Uh -huh. Better than a blueberry muffin? Did a good job making them. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we need to thank Danielle over at Weedem and Reap for encouraging us to make these, huh? Yeah. These are delicious. Good rainy day project. Mm -hmm. Be a good breakfast for Easter too. Uh -huh. We used frozen blueberries. They came out delicious and good. They might have took a little bit longer to cook, I think, because the blueberries were cold. But I'm very happy with the outcome. Uh -huh. They fluffed up. They fluffed up nicely. They're not overly sweet. That butter gives them a nice crispy coating on the top. And on the inside. What's that? And on the inside. Yep. If you have a sweet tooth, you might want to put a little bit more sugar in them. Or maybe next time we'll drizzle in a little bit of maple syrup. Mm. That'll be good. I just put it on top. Or on top, yep. 
It goes good with a cup of coffee too. Does it go good with your milk? Mm -hmm. That was delicious. That was delicious? Well, I think it passed the Olivia test. Huh. Is it crazy? Good food, I think. Don't tell Figaro. <laughs> There's no more left. I'll put it spotless. Yeah. You ate it all. You did very good. <clears throat> well, that was a good baked good. It was fairly easy to make. Maybe a little bit more time consuming than a blueberry muffin, but not much. It's definitely worth it. We'll be making more of them. Thanks, Danielle, again. Man, that was a good, huh? Mm -hmm. That was a great rainy day project. We're going to have a good, delicious breakfast tomorrow, and we might we might have some left for Easter for us because we still have two more days for Easter. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. They're not gonna last that long? I don't think so. No, so we guess we'll have them before then. So if you're new to the channel, now is a perfect opportunity to subscribe. While you're down there, turn on notifications. And when you're in notifications, if you click on setting, you can choose how often you'd like YouTube to send you those notifications. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at One the Acres, a guide tomorrow homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye. Bye.